Constance. David. I know you for a long time, but the people here don't, or some of them won't. Many probably will. So would you tell everybody who you are and what you're doing? Sure. My name is Constance Hunter, and uh, starting in a couple weeks, I am joining the Economist Intelligence Unit as their global chief economist. I have been working as an economist for many decades. I had the great fortune to start my career in foreign exchange at Chase Manhattan Bank uh, back in the very, very first Berlusconi administration. Oh, my God. And then I went into asset management for a number of years, using economics to make decisions. And so uh, it's just been a great ride. And it's been so fun knowing you for all this time. Oh, you're a sweetheart. And, and she's sharing only, ideas. She's only 39 years old, too. So... This is a new job, but this is a big job. This is the whole world. The whole world. What, what are you going to do there? Well, one of the first things that we're going to do is we are going to be able to deliver to clients uh, in, a, in a way that integrates with their data systems, which is something the EIU hasn't done historically. So that is a big, big change into how we're going to integrate into clients' risk management systems, strategy analysis decisions. Uh, so that's going to be a big green changer. And I haven't gotten there yet, so I, I can't fully reveal everything that no, I'm going to no, be no, doing because right. I'm still peeling back the layers of the onion. Yeah. But the fact that EIU is in 80 countries and really can, can uh, piece together what's happening, all the threads in the global economy, you know, the, the sort of butterfly effect of a butterfly flapping its wings in Bangladesh, Right. We just had some political unrest in Bangladesh. How does that impact the rest of the world? There's not a lot of organizations that have both the breadth and the depth to be able to deliver the impacts of that. Does the condition you see in the world in terms of stability or instability, war risk, geopolitical change, does it worry you? So I'll tell you, I was um, I was giving a speech on geopolitics earlier this summer. And so. I, you know, as I was preparing to do that and doing research, I came across a really interesting quote from, or a speech actually, from Christine Lagarde on the 100th year anniversary of World War I. Mm. And what she talked about at the precipice of World War I, you know, we were, we were just ending or the, the first industrial revolution. And so she talked about that interplay between massive technological change and how, while it is a good thing, can bring a huge amount of instability, can bring uh, a huge amount of income inequality. And so it's, it doesn't surprise me actually when looked, looked at that sort of long-term lens that we are going through what we're going through. So as Christine Lillard was talking about this, right? And I think about, I think about how it fits with where we are now in the midst of all this technological change it's not surprising to me that we're also seeing the geopolitical realignment that we're seeing, uh, that we're seeing the geopolitical upheaval that we're seeing. I think those things have historically been intertwined and, and I think that could be impacting things today. So one more question. You've been coming up here. You went fishing this morning? I did go fishing this How morning. How do you do? Well, I mean, I don't know if they stocked that lake or what, but we had, <laughs> we had an awful lot. I felt like I didn't even have to do anything. Um, but the good thing about the fishing is that we're eating everything that we caught. Yes. And so nothing is going to waste. Yes. And it's all part of the, the circular ecosystem. And, uh, and we're going to have an amazing lunch. Well, I'm glad you're here and with us. It's nice to see you again. Always nice to see you. Wonderful to see you too, David. Right. Thank you for including me. Good luck in the new position, Thank you. very important position. I follow that economist for, I don't want to admit how many years. And that's 39. a great, yeah, 39, <laughs> that's it. Let's stay 30, you know, Jack Benny. You know, I, I had a conversation with young people and, I, and they said, how old are you? And I said, I'm 39, like Jack Benny. And they said, who's Jack, Jack Benny? Jack Benny, yeah, well. Constance Hunter, thank you. Thank you.